Hey YouTube users, here's uh, Gregory A. Parker, and uh, here's my power box. I've made some modifications. We'll call this the Grizzly Part 2. Today is June 22nd. I'm in uh, Egging am Sea, which is Germany, of course, because I only live like an hour away. But what I've done since the last video is I added two 12-volt uh, outlets here. This one won't stay up because of the little curvature there so uh, this one will stay up but you can put uh, you know your 12 volt appliances in there if you want uh, I've printed out some labels danger and all the safety things here I have a small inverter the 150 watts from the last video and inside I have the 600 watt inverter running now with a 1200 watt surge capacity. What I've done since the last video is I've added this little four port USB hub there. What I did was is I uh, plugged in the USB into that socket there, into that USB outlet, drilled a hole down through the fiberglass that I made. It's all there. And then I drilled it back under here, held it down with a zip tie, which I don't really need because it's in there, you know. And, uh, of course, I have the battery in there. It's a solar battery. You can see that right there. It's a solar battery. A 100 amp hour solar battery. And uh, right now, I have it powering my... My little, in German, it's called the uh, Electro Cool Shrunk, but it's an uh, electric cool box, electric cooler. And it's by this little cheap company you get it from the supermarket. It costs like 39 euro. But anyways, I have my stuff in there, drinks. You can see the temperature. I don't have it up to full power, but it's about 12 degrees Celsius in there now. But still cold enough, of course, for beer and... If I used it up to full power, you know, it would it would get colder. I've had it down to four degrees. And here I have my little uh, power station here. I use this as a backup sometimes. Release a little release a little pressure on the uh, power station, you know. If I need to charge up phones or whatever, I just plug in the USB there or something, you know, into the 12 volt socket. And it just releases a little a little pressure off of this in case it's cloudy and stuff. Like it's been cloudy today and it's charging and it's switching between 12.1 and 12 volts. Which really you can't see so that's pointless. <laughs> but uh, I've got it coming out of here. Of course I have the notch cut in from the last video. I just put this on the top and I've got it plugged into my charger here. This is charging the battery for my uh, my uh, Samsung Galaxy Note. This is a special battery because this one's three times as thick as the normal one. This gives me longer life with this battery. And uh, I have it plugged into this fan. So the fan is also plugged in. It oscillates. And I have it running off of this, you know, running off the box. But the wind is blowing, it's kind of cool now. And here's my Galaxy Note here with the reverse American flag on there. And plus, I have the standard battery in there, anyways. Uh, what else did I have in there? Well, right now, I'm only charging up the cooler, the phone battery, and occasionally I use the fan whenever I need it, but I don't need it so much. And we're camping here, the three of us. Me and the two boys I have a little lantern. I'm always trying to think of saving power, you know. Bought this lantern last year. And of course, this one winds up. And you've seen this from the last video. But I'm not going to be winding this up all day. But I use the solar generator. I plug it into the DC outlet here. And it charged up. It wasn't completely dead, but it took less than an hour to get it where that green light came on. And out here, I have my solar panels all set up. And then you can see the other campers here. Got a whole soccer team way over there.
And here are my 245 watt panels I have here. The sun is going down. It's almost 6 o'clock at night here. Got the wires coming into the box. I'm getting 12.2 volts on there now. Should be up to over 13 volts, but I've been running it and it's been a cloudy day mostly, anyways. So, uh, <laughs> look at this. I, I've got a flask of Jack Daniels in there. How did that get in there? Man, those leprechauns. They always putting stuff there. And plus, uh, I have the pan here. I have a gas uh, gas grill. Actually, it's under that hat right there. And so we've been cooking our food on that too. So that doesn't really need the solar. But uh, I run everything off of here. Actually, uh, what I also was running off of it was a... Uh, let me get over here. Excuse the junk was this uh, Duracell um, rechargeable battery station, you know? Charges up the rechargeable batteries, double A's, charges up a single nine volt through here. And I use this with the solar panels too. Oddly enough, I didn't, I didn't really use the, didn't really use the walkie talkie so much, you know, so I didn't really need those batteries after all, so. But it was just the, basically this is the first multi-day test I had of this this power station and of course I after using it with these 90 watt panels here I've decided that um, I'm going to going to uh, switch to a 120 watt panel I don't know if I'm going to keep both of the the 45 watt panels and get a 120 watt or if I'll sell 145 watt and get 120 watt so but if you got any ideas let me know maybe I'll try out all three panels you know and, and see how uh, how well it performs performs well enough I'll just keep it there there's my cooler there back inside salsa the beer the water is triplets on it look at it it's cold better not keep opening it whenever I open it and warm air goes in there it, it shoots up the full power and starts to drain the battery a little bit more but that's that back to sit down back to my phone and relaxing there's my jeep there enjoy yourselves this is Gregory Parker reporting live and I uh, hope you enjoyed my video give me any tips this is Egging MC Germany